Hi, my name is April Waits, Director of Custom Media at Rethink Retail, and I'm here with Elizabeth LaFontaine, Director of Research at Placer AI. We are here at Shop Talk Fall 2024. Elizabeth, can you tell me a little bit about the trends that you're seeing at the event? Yes, I think one of the things that we're seeing is so much about the resilience of the retail industry. We have seen discretionary businesses that are continuing to expand. I heard in a panel yesterday about physical retail is back. It is something that consumers are loving and it's something that retailers are really focused on in the next few years to come. So I think as an industry, we are kind of seeing a resurgence in the consumer. We're seeing the resiliency of them. And we as an industry are really trying to innovate so that we can continue to kind of meet them where they are right now. Awesome. I've actually been hearing the same thing. I was at a session yesterday and they mentioned IRL, so like in real life shopping, <laughs> and I heard the same thing again today. So I'm definitely seeing that same trend. Um, and you're here today with Placer AI. Can you tell me a little bit about how Placer is kind of helping retailers in, in this time? Yeah, that's a great question. And at Placer, we love everything physical retail, which is something that I didn't think we could talk about five or 10 years ago, but we're really excited to be helping our retailers if they're thinking about location selection, so thinking about where their kind of core customers are, where they should be planning their next locations, and also thinking about potential trade area cannibalization. What is the competitive landscape look in those areas? And also we can help our retailers think about ROI on things like marketing or advertising campaigns, really making sure that they are getting their customers in the door and that they're keeping their, them there for as long as possible. Yeah, that's uh, such an interesting topic. It's well known that Walgreens is closing a lot of locations and um, their stock actually went up after they announced it because, you know, they're investing in locations that are actually, you know, providing a lot of um, income and also foot traffic. Um, in the session yesterday, Target mentioned they are focusing also on opening new stores. <laughs> I know Placer uh, does a lot of like data and insights. Can you tell me some patterns and trends or maybe some um, things that retailers should be looking out for as they are looking to expand into new regions? Yes, that's a great question. And I think you kind of hit the nail on the head in talking about that it's not just about opening more stores right now in retail, but it's really about opening the right types of stores. So one of the things that we can really help retailers with, and one of the things that we've done a great job of kind of investigating using our data is store format. So we can actually look at kind of the comparison of foot traffic for small format locations within a chain compared to their nationwide and kind of average size locations. And what we see a lot of times is these innovative concepts are doing a lot better than kind of the total chain overall. So we see it with small format, like with grocery stores like Sprouts or Target, or we're seeing large formats in some areas like HEB in Texas, those stores are doing very well. So we're helping retailers and kind of just figuring out that right now it's not just about bigger stores or better stores, but it's really about the right types of stores for consumers. We know that during the pandemic, we've seen a huge migration out of kind of city centers and urban areas towards more suburban and rural areas. And that really changes how the consumer wants to interact with retailers. And so retailers need to be finding those right kind of formats that are compatible with their consumers today. Great insights. And I uh, heard a lot about that too with grocery shop and next, you know, there's a lot of different things to consider besides location. How big is a store, a square footage, you know, what's a format? How can we make it efficient for employees and customers? And I just want to jump a little bit. This is the first ever Shop Talk Fall. What has your experience been? Um, what are some of your, your takeaways from the event? Yeah, it has been a great kind of inaugural Shop Talk Fall. I think that they have done a fantastic job of keeping kind of the energy and excitement around Shop Talk, but doing it in a new and innovative way. The branding here is amazing. When you walk through the initial kind of like vault area, it gets you really excited about what's to come. And I think there's just a lot more camaraderie here. I think we've had some really meaningful conversations with people who are just kind of really feeling re-energized with the, where the industry is going right now. And that's been kind of a great feeling and overall energy to the conference. Great. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us and looking forward to the rest of Shop Talk Fall.